long as a uh, quick uh, time lapse of a front and rear tire change on a V-Strong. I normally, uh, this is a little more shade tree than I normally go. I don't have any torque wrenches. I don't have any of the normal chemicals I would have, like uh, the red locker and stuff like that. It's still in my government pack up. But you can still do it with normal hand tools, even if you don't have a torque wrench. Just don't over torque all that stuff. There's no need to. Uh, the torques on the brake calipers and everything are relatively low. Uh, I used balancing beads this time, which is again something else I normally don't do, but my balancing stand is also in my government pack up. So we'll see how the balancing beads go. I've done that one other time uh, on my, I have actually used it on a prior Jeep I had that used to see a lot of mud. Um, standard balancing would work on that. As soon as you drove through a mud hole, your wheels would be out of balance. So I actually went to Walmart and bought a lot of uh, .177 caliber BBs, like you would shoot out of a pump action BB gun, and uh, put about a quarter pound of those in each wheel. And on that Jeep, they worked great. So we'll see how they work on the bike. Time will tell. The Shinkos sometimes require a little more weight than other tires, but if my previous experience balancing Shinkos uh, and the normal amount of weight I would need to use on those. Uh, I used one ounce, one ounce of beads in the front, two ounce in the back. Uh, that should be more than enough for these tires, just based on past experience balancing these Shinkos. I'm running 705s now. I took the 804 and 805s off. The 804 was worn out, and now that I'm back in Texas, there's not as much off-road riding. In fact, there's almost none compared to California. So I threw uh, 705s back on the bike because they're a better, in, in my opinion, they're a better street tire, even though the 805s and 804s are still really good on the street. Anyway, uh, now to go edit this and clean everything up over here. If you would like to see a more in-depth version of that, uh, like a step-by-step -step or something, let me know in the comments and uh, next time I do tires, which I'll go through two to four sets of tires a year so uh, let me know in the comments and the next time I do a tire change I will do a step-by-step -step on that.